Thank you for technical support. This side, James. I'm a help you today. Uh, hello there, James. I've got this uh, critical error on my computer. Okay. It what were you doing it on the computer when you got this alert? Uh, but, sorry, what was that? What I'm saying that, what were you doing on the computer when you got this alert? Oh, I was Jack Torrance. What? Jack Torrance, I, I was in a Bay of Pirates. Can you, can you speak louder? I can't hear you. Oh, I know, you are pretty quiet. Have you got your modulations going? I was on the Bay of Pirates. And I was uh, I was jet torrenting at the overlook. Okay. And what do you see on your computer screen right now? What do I? Well, uh, critical error. IP threat detected. Do not try to restart the computer. Call support on one eight three three. Okay. All right. Yeah. And is it your personal computer or it's a work computer? Oh, I wouldn't do this kind of thing on a work computer. That old bent in HR will have my guts for guards. Okay. Yeah. So I don't are like you in your workplace or home right now? No, I'm not in my workplace. I told you, if I did this stuff in my workplace, it, HR lady, she she's no good. She's a white old bent. Just hold the line for a moment. Let me go ahead and check this stuff for you, okay? Okay. You're not going to check with her in HR, are you? Oh, thank you for being online, Julius. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. As I can see here, I've Did checked you get everything in contact for you. With and HR, according to the not. information, you told me it seems like it's breach on your network, which means it's an attempt. Of I never said a breach on my network. I said don't contact that lady in HR. Do you know what hacking is? Do I know haggis? Well, I know. I, I, I know a guy Hacking. named Angus. See, he has haggis, but he only eats that every now and then. He's Scottish, you see. He come from Scotland. All right, hold the line for a minute. Well, I got to right. hold the line before the line he's got haggis. I think it's uh, okay. sheep's stomach stuff with barley and other stuff. You know, Robinson's barley water. All right, I have checked everything. And now tell me. As I can see here in my device, hacking has taken place within past 48 hours. So someone used your computer. Oh, he's had hackers in the past 48, 48 hours? hours? Except you? I don't know. I think the last right. time, he, I think he's going to have some for burns, snack, you know, rabby burns. Josh has just told me it's uh, nearly burns, snack. He's probably you. getting ready for burns, snack. I can't hear you properly, sir. So. Rabby burns, you know, rabby burns? Rabbit burn? No, Rabbi. R A. Well, I should say Rabbit, you know, because Rabbi is more of a, a localized. Rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit Burns. He, he, he did Rabbit. the. He did the. He, he's a Scottish man, did the stuff. Scottish man, okay. Yeah, you're on about haggis. Can you speak louder? I can't hear you. You, you eat haggis on Burns now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Let me transfer your call to my senior executive. Okay. Okay. Is he a Scot? Is he Scottish? Uh, Does he Aka Danu? Does he see you, Jimmy? Arthur from the sup supervising team. Uh, hello there, and Arthur. What's going on? Yeah, that's a proper Scottish name. Are you the one who asked Haggis? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah, you know, the book's on tape, audible. It's done by Amazon. Hello, oh, are you there? I'm here. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah, the book's on tape. Hello. Yeah. Are you, are you the Scottish I, man? So this is Arthur. Yeah, Arthur. That that does sound Scottish Sorry? to me. Are you eating haggis? A burn snack? Manu, what is going on? I don't know. I'm phoning up for a critical error IP threat detected. The other guy's going on about rabbi burns and haggis and stuff like that. Okay, so you are saying that you got an error that says hacking, right? Well, I didn't say anything about the haggis. He was speaking about the haggis. I'm just phoning up for a critical error IP threat detected. All right. Could you please yeah. help me with the error? Like, could you please read out the whole alert? Uh, yeah, critical error IP threat detected. Do not try to restart the computer. Core support on one eight three three. 
All right, so sorry for that. May I know what exactly you were doing on the computer fault. when you got that alert? Well, I told the other guy I, I was on the Bay of Pirates. Mm, I was a, a jet torrents. All right. The Overlook Hotel. Oh, is it your uh, is it your personal computer or your work computer? Uh, no, I told the other guy he, he was going to report me to HR. That old bin. Because it, 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 it's it's not a work computer. I'd never go torrenting on a work computer. Okay, it's your personal one, right? Your home yeah, computer. Yeah, that's right. Like, but, but personals. All right. Yeah. Please allow me a moment so I can go ahead and check this up for you, okay? Oh, please do. Are you yeah. there? I'm here. Yeah, so, okay, uh, I have checked everything for you, okay? And as per the information you are providing me right now, it seems there's a breach in your network, and that means He's in your it's network. an attempt of hacking. Do you know what hacking is? No, the other guy went on about haggis. No, oh, sir, I'm not saying bad it, it, haggis, it I'm saying hacking. With like uh, barley and some other stuff. Get your data. To mm -hmm. Get my data? What do you mean, get my data? No, no, actually, someone is trying to hack your PC using your network. That means it's an attempt of hacking that has taken place within the past 48 hours. What, they're cooking haggis on my computer? Yeah, it's an hacking. Okay, like someone is trying okay. to get your data. Well, I know sometimes uh, the computer runs pretty hot and, you know, you can't, it does roam up the room, especially when I'm doing the crypto mining. But I've never cooked with it, whether it's haggis or anything. No, no, ha or have you shared your device with anyone, like, uh, within the past? If I shaved hours? my device? What do you mean, you shave? Uh, you can't shave a computer. I'm not saying shave, sir. I'm saying... What do you think I am, Wilkinson Have sword? you shared, like, did, did someone use your computer without your knowledge? Well, if they did, I didn't know about it. You're asking me okay, if I know something know that it, I'm right? not supposed to know. All right. Have yeah. you shared your Wi-Fi password with any unknown person within the past 48 hours? What, my Wi-Fi password? Let me read that out to you. Yeah, did you share it? That is, um, anywhere? 5, no. 6, capital F, M, capital O, S, sorry, T, sorry to interrupt, sir. Number sorry 1. To interrupt. Slow down, sir. I was just reading you my Wi-Fi password. I'm not password. asking your Wi-Fi. Do you need the ID as well? Sir, I don't need your password. No, no, I don't need Why your did you ID just ask your Wi-Fi password. I'm asking, did you share with any unknown person? Like, uh, did you provide I your Wi-Fi password to You're anyone? I don't know. You're asking me if they're unknown. I don't know no unknown person because they're unknown. All right, so you haven't How shared How am I supposed right? to know stuff that's unknown? It's a contradiction in term. Okay. Okay, so I can see here that hackers are continuously trying to attack on your identity and your devices. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you with simple steps to install certain Microsoft securities on your device, okay? Then we will check what data was compromised and what is required to be done, okay? Okay. Does it have to be Microsoft? Yeah, I'm from Microsoft. I'm Arthur, Oh, okay? you're from Microsoft. Okay. You, so now just do one thing. Look into your keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. So, on the left corner, you will find an escape key. E -S 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 -E will be written key. there. Do you see that key? S-K. Well, S is in the middle, and so is K. Yeah. They're both e on the middle line. No, no, sir. Okay. On the left top corner, the first key on the left of your keyboard. Yeah. ESC will be written there. Could oh, escape. That? Yeah. Do. Yeah. Do, 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 Press do, and hold that do, key do, do, do. for three seconds. Okay. Now, what you have to do, now look at your left side of the keyboard and at the bottom, you will find a Windows key, okay? that has four squares on it do you see that key oh yeah press and hold that key okay yeah press and hold that key and while holding okay. that key uh, press test manager 
Okay. No, no. Yeah, yeah, when okay, you press no. that window key, letter R, R as in Roger, R. okay? Okay. Yeah, press that. Now, do you see a white screen on the at the left bottom of your screen? Well, says, yeah, uh, it is 16. The it is wide program. screen. It's not like panorama. It, it's just 16 by 9, you know, the standard wide screen format. I'm not doing 4 by 3, that's no, no, for like, sure. Uh, no, when uh, when you press that key, that window and let R together, yeah, you will find an unbox there. Do you see that? It says type the name of the program folder document on the internet. Yeah, yeah. empty that box and type there www www dot dot ultra u l t r a u l t r a dot com v i e w no no v i e w v i w dot com e r no no e r oh, e r dot com no no dot net n e t dot net dot com okay not dot com only dot net no only dot net and hit one okay dot net dot net and now hit enter key from your keyboard. Yeah. Okay, we got Ultra Viewer remote desktop software. Yeah, Ultra Viewer you... allows you to control your yeah, partner's you computer without screen? her knowing. No, no, sir. It will not. More info in the downloads. Do you see a blue screen over there, sir? Well, you know, it, half of it's blue, sir, but the other half screen? is white. All right at the back. Okay, now please. All right. No, no, please check. Do, 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 you will do, find do, 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 a version do, do, do. Ultra Viewer 6.6, .6, and on that, well, I don't know you if it's 6.6, .6, but there's button. select downloads over elect downloads. Do you see that green download button? Yeah, I told you that about two minutes yeah. ago. Got more info button and download. Okay, so button. now do you see any file downloading with the name of Ultra Viewer Setup? 6 oh, you want me to download the right it then? Corner of your laptop. Very good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to download that. Yeah, okay. download that. Yeah, now, do you see any file downloading at the left top corner of your screen? I've already screen? told you, yeah. It's a, the ultra viewer underscore setup yeah. underscore 6.6 .6 underscore cn dot exe. Okay. Yeah. Click that. Open that file. Click that. And once you click that, it will ask you for, for permission. And okay. Do you want to allow yes or no, the okay. following program to make changes? Yeah. Do you see? Do okay. you see any yes option? Well, it, it says the verified publisher is yeah. stuck. Fabulous. It, it's not Microsoft. So I think I've downloaded the wrong one. No, I, no, I thought I was going to download the Microsoft. It is not. This is stuck. Microsoft. It is. Yeah, but you're Microsoft. You told me that you, you were going to get me to download the Microsoft. No, no. Where? So I'm saying. This software will help us to connect you with our secure server of Microsoft, sir, okay? Why can't you use the Microsoft this control is the only software? software? Sorry? I thought we would have used Microsoft remote control software because, you know, you're the Microsoft. No, no, sir. Actually, I'm not going to remote control your device. Well, isn't that what Ultra Viewer is? Software, Ultra Viewer is Duck Fabulous. I don't want a Duck Fabulous. Pardon, sir? I don't want a Duck Fabulous. It says Duck Fabulous up here. I thought we were going to use Microsoft because you're the Microsoft. No, no, sir. Actually, you don't so Microsoft? This is the software through which I will connect you. Do you not have a Microsoft, Microsoft one? It will. So, this software will help us to connect you with our Microsoft Secure Server, sir. Well, why is Microsoft is using a third party software for their server? Are they using Linux, for God's sake, on this server? I know a lot of them use Linux. Sir, as, no, no, sir, as I already no. informed, me, informed you that the hacking attempt has been done. Okay. Well, yeah, we know the hacking attempt has so been done. Want, and we don't want hackers to know that you are talking or you are getting any help from the Microsoft directly, okay? Because it will okay, well, what's that got to do with Duck Fabulous? And, okay. I don't know Duck Fabulous. So this is the only software. 
No, this is ultra so fuel. I will connect you with our secure server. Why don't Why don't you want to use Microsoft? Microsoft so I, are a pretty big company. I do understand so your question. Okay. Okay, but that's why you're not answering it. You. You're just trying to deflect it. Like Sorry. that guy in the Matrix, Neo Geo or whatever his name is, when he bends over backwards. So actually you are connected with the Microsoft, okay, and I, as I already... Yeah, you know, this you is a, a Windows computer connected on the internet, so I would have thought... But sir, before your telemetry nowadays, you, you'll sir, be c constantly connected to Microsoft servers. Sir, listen to me first, okay? You are not even listening to me properly. I'm listening. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. As I informed you, that I never said uh, that you weren't helping me. I just don't want to use the Duck on Fabulous. Your computer. Sorry? I, d I don't want to use Duck Fabulous, you know. It's not like I'm not saying you're not helping me. You've been helping me a lot. Because you're the Microsoft. Yeah, thank you for that. So, yeah. So what I'm trying to say here, please listen to me carefully, okay? Okay. As you know that hacking attempt has made using your network okay on the so network if i connect you directly to the microsoft i thought we were cooking yeah. the haggis on the computer you, sorry sir the haggis sir not haggis it is hackers someone is trying to access your data okay y yeah you've already mentioned so that it's on the computer you know now you're going on about my net worth my net worth isn't that much it's only about a sir. Seven hundred eighty thousand. The problem, the problem is is with not with Microsoft. The problem is. Oh, with it network. never is. You know, okay. you, you can't you admit have... to that. Otherwise, you'll be found guilty in a court of the law, and then you have to pay the five billion dollars again, just like Google did. You hear about yeah. that? You know, with their incognito window, they got fined that five billion. I'm not going to yes, see sir. a single dollar of that five billion dollars, even though they stayed in my data as well. They all stayed in the data. I do understand. Yeah. Okay. So please open that Ultra Viewer. Oh yeah, it's sir. open. You, you got this Duck Fabulous thing. We ain't doing no Duck Fabulous. No, no. Once you open that file, do you see any yes or no option there? Uh, well, it says, do you want to allow the following to make changes on the computer? Then it's got this Duck Fabulous thing. This ain't Microsoft. No, no. After that, do you see any yes or no? Do you see any yeah, yes or well, no there's, there's a yes or okay. Done that. Click on yes option, sir. Yeah, done that. Done? Yeah. Okay, once you've done that, do, now do you see next option there? Uh, no, you got allow remote control, control remote computer, an ID and a pastor. Okay, do you see ID password there? Yeah, I see ID password there. Yeah, this is the ID that I have generated you, I uh, generated for you. How can you generate okay, it? This ID is stuff fabulous. This isn't the Microsoft. So this is the Microsoft. No, it's not. ID it's stuff fabulous. You just I told me it's stuff fabulous. It's not Microsoft. Sorry, could you please are, are help you, me with that? Are ID you and working for stuff so fabulous, or are you working for Microsoft? I'm not working for Dot Fabulous, okay? No, Duck Fabulous. I'm working you for sing. Microsoft, and if you if if you need, I can help you with my Microsoft employee ID, sir. Oh, right. So you're working for Microsoft. So how can you generate um, a DUC Fabulous ID then? Should I call you Ducky? So actually, no, no. Actually, what is there? Okay, this is the software. Yeah, to it's which software, I will yeah. connect you with the Microsoft server, okay? And Microsoft we are server. in partnership with that company as well, because as you know that Microsoft is very big, okay? Yeah, so it and should be able to do it in house. Softwares that we need. If I was a big company that Microsoft, I'd do, do it in house. Help cut down on the pricing. I do understand. Sir. You know, it costs a lot to do stuff like that. I do like understand, it. sir. But I do understand. But we yeah. need. You got to do the business. Third party software as well. No, you shouldn't be and using third party is... software. It get all stinky. Okay, I will share this feedback with my developing team, okay? And they will definitely oh, do something about it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't okay. realize you had feedback. Your main problem would be the squawk box. Sorry? You need to uh, attenuate the signal on the squawk box.
Uh, yeah, if if you're getting feedback on your line, it, it probably gone back through the microphone. You need to uh, dial it back on the squawk box. That's what I do. Sure. Now, sir. my my main right, concern so is if you you probably have to put it at like minus six dB in order to attenuate the original signal. Therefore, you won't get the squeakings and whatnot. All right. Yeah. Please help me with that ID password, sir. Uh, well, uh, the squawk box I'm using is the, uh, let's have a look here. The Sennheiser DX52B. It's got an integrated amplification no, no, circuit sir, and it's able to attenuate any feedback uh, I'm on... I'm uh, that ID password to... What, you, you don't so use I'm the squawk box? I'm asking that ID password that you got... The ID got cursor. into Ultra Viewer software. Oh, the Ultra Viewer. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, you said that you generated that, but you're the Microsoft and not the Ducky. you got to be Duck Fabulous to generate an ID on that one. So I do understand, and I'm from the technical support team, okay? No, you said you were the Microsoft. So we do generate... So I'm from the Microsoft technical support team. Okay? Yeah, exactly. I, you're I'm you're not a ducky. Okay? Only, only the duckies can use Ultra Viewer. No, no, sir. Yeah. How else can you generate Through stuff on a company that's I will not yours? You. So what what we do? We generate a request on your behalf, okay? Oh, you put that in a chip to do the you? Microsoft, okay? Yeah, I, I could have put in a chip by once myself. It goes to the Microsoft. What, the chip goes to Sorry. the Microsoft or to the Ducky? First goes to the Microsoft, then it goes oh, to I'll the... Oh, I go to Microsoft Ultra then. Was okay. it Microsoft.com? www.microsoft.com Okay, we got a uh, save up to 15% off selected Surface Pro 9. I don't want a Surface Pro 9. Well, I get more from Copilot. Copilot? Is it Copilot? Mm hmm Yeah. No, no, sir. Oh, it says get more from Capilot. For individuals or for the business? No, no, sir. No? So I need that ID password that you got into the Ultra Viewer. So I will connect you to the secure servers. You said you generated it yourself. Surely you should know this. Should be on your chip. Sir, we... No, no. Actually, if when we generate it, we don't get it directly. It goes on your software, okay? Goes on the software. To our customers. Okay, now you're confusing me. Mm hmm No, no, sir. Actually, I just need that ID password so I can connect you. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you to ID go password? to the, the Microsoft connection software. I'll give you the ID there. I didn't get you, sir. The, on the Microsoft? You're the Microsoft? I was going to do it on the Microsoft. Okay, so I'm saying that you're going to get help from the Microsoft.com. Right? No, right? you're the so Microsoft. You're using the website? You, you keep on saying you're the Microsoft. So I'm saying that I'm from the Microsoft. Exactly, that's what I just said. You're from the you're Microsoft. not understanding me. But you are not trying to understand me, sir. I am trying I to understand you. you. When we I don't understand why you're not using the Microsoft remote software rather than the Ultra Viewer with the Ducky. Please allow me a moment, sir. Let me check with my team, okay? Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for staying online, sir. Are you there? I'm here. Yeah. yeah. If you don't want to use that Ultra Viewer software, don't No, worry, I don't sir. want to use that you Ultra have Viewer. Other that's Ducky. That All right, no worries. Yeah. We do have other options, I just confirmed with my team, okay? For that, I will, I will be needing your basic details. So could you please confirm whether you, are, whether you received this alert for the very first time or have you received these in past days as well? But no, today's the only time, you know. Normally, uh, well, you see, I, when I was Jack Torrance on the old Bay of Pirates, I just started to download this new movie. And then this thing comes up, you know, we've got the, R, the old IPs there, All you know right. what I mean? So this is the first time you got this alert, right? Oh, yeah, that, that today's the first time I've just tried to download this torrent. All right, man, yeah. which Wi-Fi do you have at your home? Well, I just got one wife. 
I'm not like a bigamist or a polygamist. All right. Yeah, I think that's can illegal, isn't it? Can you help me with your it? email address? Yes, she has an email can address. Can you help me with your email address, sir? What, my email address or my wife's email address? Uh, your email address, sir. Gordon. That Bennett. That 1979. Go. Hello? Gordon dot. Gordon. Gordon uh, dot. G O R D E N. Then Bennett. That's with two N's and two T's. G that 1979. At freeserve. That coal. That Z A. Could you please spell it out, sir? Could you please spell it out? A G O R D E N dot. B E double N E double T dot one nine seven nine. At symbol F R E E S E R V E dot co dot Z A. Uh, please slow down, sir. G O R D E N dot right. V E L L A N C dot one nine nine seven right. The hell's V V? There's no V V in Gordon Bennett. Okay. Okay. G O R D E N dot then. B that boy. E, like... Okay, B as... Yeah. It's B. B as boy, then? Yeah. Then E, like, um... Ah. In great. Then? Then a couple of N's, an E, and a couple of T's. Couple of N. Yeah, a couple of N's. Bennett, right? Yeah, Bennett. Gordon Bennett. That 1979... Okay. That free serve dot co dot z a. Dot nineteen seventy nine dot. Yeah. Free serve. That is uh, f r w e s e r v e dot co. That c o. That z a. That South Africa. Dot z a. Yeah. You've been to South Africa. All right, sir. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Please be. With me on the line, I'll share this information with my backend team. No, don't share the and, information uh, about that. Do? That's my personal information. Uh, I do understand, so this is your personal information. Don't yeah. worry, we will only you use know, this information uh, anybody to could run get the hold of that. On your system. My system. All right, I do understand. Anything you share, anything you share, what with my Microsoft sister got to do with confidential, it. Confidential, okay? Well, yeah, but I don't know what you're going on about my sister now. And it's uh, no, no, sir. Actually, I am going to send this to my backend team. And what we will do, we will perform all these scans, okay, that we need to do cans. to make sure that your networks are fine or not. The can, the can. So I, I will be shooting this, platform. okay? And yeah. we will do the scans from our end, okay? Why Ireland? I ain't been to Ireland in over 10 years. Sorry? I think I went over there in 2011. I went to uh, mm -hmm. Dublin, Dundalk, Kilkenny. I ain't been there in quite a while. Yeah, so please allow me a moment. Oh, it's all in pieces. Uh, please allow me a it moment. It wouldn't surprise me. They were all drinking Guinness at the time. So please allow me a moment. Uh, let me get the scans done, okay? Yeah, can, can. To check your network status. Oh, my network status, that is, well, well I'm, I'm connected on the network right now, on internet. No, no, sir, I'm not saying about you are connected or not, as I already informed you that hacking attempt has been made using your networks, okay? Okay, because so normally, normally it's the Scottish network, people okay? who have been haggis, not the Irish, so I don't know why you're checking Ireland. So, may I know from where are you calling me? I'm calling from America. You're calling me from America, right? Yeah. And you're going right. on about haggis. Are you but from Ireland? No, I'm not from Ireland. I, I've been there a few times, so like I said, you know, but not in the past ten years or so. I would go to Dublin and Dork, Kilkenny, quite a few places. All right. Yeah. So you are from the America, right? Like it's well, originally not from America. You know, I've been, I've been about a bit. Started off in New Zealand, went to South Africa, went to London, went to Germany, went to Ireland, went to Scotland, went to uh, Canada, but that was only for a few days. And then I, I'm in America. All right. Yeah. 
So please stay on the line, sir. Hold on on the line. Okay, so yeah, I'm okay. I know what is wrong with your network. Okay, but it's probably the cable, screen sharing thing. Thank you for staying on the line, sir. Are you there? I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So we did the scans, okay, and uh, oh, you as can, per can. information, eight hack, eight hackers have been uh, connected to your network, okay, and they have successfully established their network with your network, and uh, I can also see that the, your phone lines are also tapped, and it might be possible that they can listen to our conversation. All right. Do, do we need to break out the old uh, the scrambler? Make sure the phone lines get encrypted properly. No, no, sir. Actually, the problem is not with your phone, not with your laptop, not. Well, you with just your said it was my phone. You the said that they that put a tap occurred, on it. I said that, sir. But you yeah. need to listen to me very carefully, okay? You well, don't you, have you can't to just say one thing and then the next sentence say the other thing. A single word. Oh, go ahead, please. You go ahead, and I'll get the, the scrambler yeah. ready. So, yeah. So what I did, yeah. what I did say that problem is not with your devices the problem is with your network so if you have any device that runs using your internet that is your wi-fi they can get hacked okay so the problem is not with your cell phone but as i can see your phones are tapped and your phones are tapped using your network uh, it's, it's okay i okay. just got the scrambler let me set up the scrambler Okay, uh, what settings are we going to use on the scrambler? I'll put it to the default, which is 1. 0. And 1. <coughs> Alright. So it should be okay now. I just got the scrambler. Can you hear me? No, no, sir. You yeah, can't can hear me. Hear you. Okay, well, maybe we should try a different code. Should we try 110 this time? No, no, sir, you don't have to call, okay? I am informing you that your phone lines are not secure. They have been hacked. And it yeah, that's might why I be set up the scrambler. The hackers can listen to our calls easily. So what I'm going to do, I will be giving you a call back using a secure line of a microsoft so no hacker can well, listen no to we, call, we got okay? a scrambler going so they can't hear us what was it you needed to say sorry well i've got a scrambler going so that the hackers won't hear us so you can say what you need to say and it will all be secure over this scramble line no no sir actually well, yeah this is a legitimate scrambling device we got going here no, no, sir, because this is Yes, 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 I've me. got it in my I hand. Look. Give you a call back. No, don't need to call me back. Well, I've got to reset the scrambler. We're going to be using 110 again. Let me tap it in. Okay, we're scrambled again. Everything should be all right. Sir, but I don't have the authority to give you any information. Without using the secure line of our microphone. We're on a secure so line. I've just scrambled the line. Give it's all secure. It's safety and security. No, no, sir. You yeah. I'm not getting my point. Okay. No, I don't want to get your point. I don't. I don't You're swing not. that way. Sorry. I don't swing that way. I don't want your point. So, do you want me to help you? Well, yeah. That's why we scrambled the line. I've scrambled the line so that nobody else can hear what you need to say. We are on a perfectly secure analog scripting device. As per the company, as per the company. No, we're not using Kaspersky. I need to give you a call back. This is Microsoft, it's not Kaspersky. Secure line of our Microsoft. It is a secure line. We are on a secure line. I've just scrambled it. Sir, but still, I need to give you a call back. No, you don't. Our Microsoft secure if, line. If you hang up the line, then we're going to have to go through all of the encryptions again and, and re, re-scramble. All right, sir. Yeah, the, line, the line's up. We've already, we're team. already using a scrambler. Just give me the information that I need. Please allow me a moment. Let me check with my team, okay? Yes, yeah, salam alaikum. Uh, sir, I still here. I'm still here. Thank you. Thank you for being on that. All right. So, uh, this side supervisor of the hacking department regarding your case. My name is Alex, okay? Okay. Is that Alex Wilson? Yes. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, just to let you know that we are currently on a scrambled land. We, we're on a scrambled land right now, so oh. anything, we, you know, we we, we we blocked all the hackers on this land because we're using Scrambler. What but we still call? got the hackers on the call, computer, girl? apparently. Let me just say something, let me just say something first oh, please of all, do. okay? Yeah. All right. Now, may I have your first and last name to go with? Yeah, Gordon Bennett. Uh, can, uh, can you please spell that? G-O-R-D-E-N, and Bennett is with two N's and two T's. That is B E double N E double T. All right. And may I have your zip code as well? Four three six one three. What's your concern right now with Microsoft? Uh well, first of all, I came across this little message up up on my it says critical error IP threat detected. Do not try to restart the computer, and then it got your phone number. So I was speaking to your colleague over there. He seemed to be going on about haggis, and he was going to go to Ireland to cook some haggis and make sure everything's all right. Then he told me that there's a problem with the phone line, so I got my scrambler out to scramble the signal. Therefore, the other people won't be able to listen in. Then he transferred me to you. Okay, just yeah. allow me a moment, sir. Let, Let me just pull up the... Okay. Just give me a moment, okay? Yeah. All right, thank you for being online. Jordan, are you still there? Who the fuck's Jordan? I said Gordon. Okay, Gordon, okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you still there? Well, well I'm, I'm still, still here, here, obviously. I highly appreciate I highly appreciate your patience and cooperation with us. Just do one thing, sir. Restart your device and it will be good as new, okay? Thank All you right. for calling Microsoft Corporation. You were speaking with Alex. Hope you have a nice evening tonight, okay? Okay. Bye. So, so can, can we, we descramble the line now? Hello? Can, can we, we descramble the phone line? 